the expanded PDC World Championship become too much of a slog? The pros and cons of 96 players. The 2019 PDC World Championship is the biggest it has ever been with the most players involved, representing the widest range of countries a darts tournament has ever seen. With 28 nationalities competing and two women involved for the first time, the PDC win plenty of points for inclusivity, but with a huge expansion from 72 to 96 players, it has undoubtedly come with some issues. It has been an especially ambitious expansion because, despite the extra numbers involved, the opening round is played over a longer format than it ever has before. Gone is the preliminary round and we now go straight into a best of 5 sets first round. The prelims used to be best of 7 legs, then moved to best of 3 sets in 2016, now we are all the way up at best of 5. Darting purists will not want to complain about extra arrows on the television, but it has taken a deep and passionate love for the game to get through some of the first round matches. Not every player that qualifies for the World Championship is capable of winning the thing, in fact, there are some players that are a long way from that standard. These lengthy slogs through five sets between pretty average players have been pretty wearisome at times and left you longing for the days of a shorter format. The first round slugfest between Michael Barnard and Jose de Souza comes to mind. Finishing 3-2 to the Englishman, it lasted well over an hour. And while the final set was dramatic, it was an almost entirely forgettable affair. There is an argument that these players have worked just as hard as anyone all year and deserve as long as possible on the big stage. Even the first round losers are trousering 7,500 pounds so Barry Hearn will also want to see them working hard for that cash. There have also been some cracking first round games. Asada vs Ratajski was a good scrap and Ashton vs Decker provided some drama, tension and quality. But the vast majority will be forgotten pretty swiftly by 99% of fans. Longer and longer matches are great as we get deeper into the tournament, but we are likely to be seeing averages around the 100 mark by this point, not near 85, when it can become, dare I say it, a bit BDO-esque. The length of the games has not only made the matches themselves a bit of a drag, but it has distracted from the overall spectacle. There have been plenty of sessions when post-match interviews have been overlooked because of time constraints. For the wide array of characters competing in the worlds this year, it would have been nice to see more of them getting their say after a victory. It also, obviously, makes the sessions longer than they would be with fans being forced to leave the Alexandra Palace before the end of the headline act. Ally Pali isn't the most accessible of sporting venues and public transport needs to be jumped on in time. As the evening sessions slide towards midnight, the crowd starts to thin out and the atmosphere for the night's biggest matches will suffer. It is great that the World Championship is truly global and that these players are getting a fair shake of it on the ocean. However, it just feels like there has been an awful lot of filler so far, and we are almost waiting for the tournament to properly kick off, despite being six days into it. It would be a shame to drop back down in terms of numbers, but perhaps a return to best of three sets in round one? Something to consider for the PDC as they continue to conquer the world. More, Raymond Van Barneveld stunned in second round of the PDC World Championship by Darius Libin Oscars more. Anastasia Dobromislova hammered by impressive Ryan Joyce at PDC World Championship.